All right, so we're gonna put a radio seal in here today. Convert this over. No, I can't do that with the nine and the 637s because they have a center bolt that holds them in. The only way I could do that is take the D9 and convert it by a D9H filter housing and put on it. And the 37s, I don't know if an H filter housing would go on there. I think the brackets are oriented wrong. You'd have to find a, a scraper that would uh, possibly work. So we'll take this out. here just in case they gave me the wrong stuff I can put it back in so let's see I've got to have a long 9 16 on a ratchet to get that one out so this is what we do when we change them every time you change the primary filter we mark a mark and when you get to three it's time to change this because every time you take these out you get a little dirt on them and it'll plug them up That's why I don't like these old styles because a radial seal, you're going to change those filters in no time. And these bolt in secondary safeties are a pain in the butt. So it's telling me I'm going to end up taking that whole filter housing out. I certainly hope not, but they got two bolts hold the assembly to the air cleaner pipe and that new adapter does not have the new or the recessed hole like these ones do for that to just go over and bolt down which I don't understand why not but whatever uh. okay there we are all kinds of weird nuts in here. Got a flange nut. Looks like an exhaust stud nut. Some self-locking bastards. So this is what goes in there. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to take those out. Son of a gun. Well, if I can get them out without the air filter dropping and breaking the gasket, I won't have to. I won't have to uh, take the house and clear out. Yeah, it's not gonna move. That gasket's probably so glued to there that never coming out. Hope. So the box says there's supposed to be a decal in there that tells people that it's been converted to radial seal. But there's no decal and the gasket's on is crooked. I don't know if it's gonna go in. So I'm gonna change the 14 over to radial seal air filters. Do you see a problem there? I think we're gonna have a serious problem getting the 
this over the studs because they've glued the gasket on so crooked. Quality control, calling quality control. I can't take that off or it'll ruin the gasket. Jeez. Better break the gasket. I'm trying to get in there. You dummies. Oh. Yeah, gonna have to cut the gasket. She should go on now. After I weldered the whole gasket holes out. Can't see. Oh, come on, Jeff. It's right there. Doesn't it? Somewhere. Come on. Come on. That's not right. Oh, come on, Jeff. That son of a bitch. There we go. She's in now. Broke the gasket on one little place, so I siliconed it. Oh, there was supposed to be some plastic clips in there too. You put on those metal guides in towards the inside, but there was no such thing that I saw. You guys probably wonder when I ever get any free time. I don't. Uh, let's see. Truck show. That was sort of free time. Snowmobiling. A couple weeks ago. Had to put a gun to my head and make myself go. <laughs> I'm just one guy trying to maintain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 10 or 12 pieces of equipment. Should have brought the Ingersoll impact. It might have tightened these three eighths bolts up. What do you think? Don't know if it would have undone them. <laughs> Ingersoll's not gonna like me because I put a video on Instagram and tagged a minute. But if they fix it and it works, it's got more power than that earthquake then I'll backtrack and apologize. But, I don't think it will. I thought that'd be the, I thought I need a one inch electric dive impact. And I saw that Ingersoll had one. 40 volt, takes two batteries. 2,600 foot pounds of undue torque. And I'm like, yeah, I'm old. Uh, what is it, a two, IR 285 something like that 290 air impact it don't I mean it's you're lucky to get 1200 out of it tighten and loosen so I thought well heck 2600 man that's gonna just do wonders boy was I shocked all right now I gotta get some grease I put the filters in these put a little grease around those and then that protects them so that they don't suck dirt around them. Probably not supposed to, but I do. I do it all the time. Okay, we get out the cat high speed ball bearing grease. Put a little of that around it. Just a really super thin layer. Don't take much. So you just take this and put it in the center like that and push and with a little grease it goes right in look at that Jeff geez is that in man I don't know sure hope that's gonna work clear that some bitch I guess it is I don't know then we get the big in and that gets a little grease on the inside Then that's gonna go in here, like that, and then go push it on, and there we are. She's in. Like 
that. Now you just snug these up. The cover really doesn't press it in, it just kind of holds it there. And there we are, installed. There's the old ones, I just put them in the box, stick them home. Oh, hello. We're gonna need some fuel. Key wasn't left on, the battery's dead. Last thing I want to do is come out here and find out it won't start. Oh. Key's off. Maybe we should see if it'll run. How's that? First, let her warm up a little, charge your batteries. It's been sitting for a day or two. Oh, yeah, fire dried up. Oil pressure lights out. Running like a watch. So these older graders have a neutralizer pedal that neutralizes the pump. Uh, kind of got to let it run a little bit before you engage that. If you light it up, it'll kill it. Here we go. You gotta wind it up, not much. There we go. If you wind it way up when it's really cold and cut that loose, you could blow the head right off the pump. So you gotta kinda be careful. So my work's done here. Come get it in the morning, go do my greater job, show you that. So I'm out of here for the day. I'll go home and work on a D9 video.